We'll go to the Account tab in VIP Manager. On the right-hand side, there's a link called Manage User Groups. Click on that. These are the existing user groups uh, for this account. To create a new user group, we'll click on Add User Group. Let's name it Sales Department. The credential policy stays as default. Let's click on Add. So my Sales Department user group is created successfully. Now I'll add a user group uh, also in my AD to map it to the Sales Department user group in Cloud. This is my AD. Let's create a new group, naming it as Sales Department. Click on OK. Now we'll add some users under this new group. My username is Tammy, first name, last name Wills, and the user logon name is Tammy Wills at Epsida80.com. Click on Next, set the password. And let the policy be the same as user must change password at next logon. Click on next and finish. I'll add this user under sales department. So click on add to a group and look for sales and there you go click OK now my user is added to sales department I'll add another user click on new user let's name the new user Vanessa Smith And the user logon name would be Vanessa Smith at Epsida80.com. Click on Next. Let's set the password. Let's keep the password policy as the same. User must change password at next logon. Click on next and finish. Let's add the user to the same group. Click on add to a group. Look for sales. Found the group, Sales Department, and let's click OK. So both my users, Vanessa Smith and um, Tammy Wells, are added to the user group, Sales Department. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and add um, this group mapping in our uh, VIP Enterprise Gateway. So I will log on to my console, just right here. This is my 9.3 VIP Enterprise Gateway console. Now I will go to Gateway tab under Gateway Optional and configure my user store so click on user store again click on the user store here and now click on the connection 
under the list of connections. I have only one connection set up, so I'll click on edit for the same. So this has a test user Wendy Smith uh, with an existing user group. Under user settings, I have two groups, we have users in engineering department. I'm going to add a new group. I'll copy the settings from my existing group and I'll name this as sales and the sales is a member of a group with the DN as sales departments and my VIP user group would be sales this is what gets pulled from the cloud now I'll go ahead and save this so my VIP user group mapping is now added successfully which I named it as sales and you can see it right over here now let me go ahead and test my connection so the user group the user that I have in my um, setting is a user that belongs to the engineering department I can test if my user connection, user store connection works fine or not by editing the test username here and making it the same as my test user Vanessa Smith. Let's go ahead and test this. And it says test connection is successful. Save. Under user settings, let's test this. And save. Um, if you notice, I did not, it did not mention that the user is from the user group sales department, which tells me that even though the connection was made to the user store, the user group was not um, uh, associated with the user. So let's go back and edit this connection and verify the username. In ADSI edit, I should be able to see the new user under users. That's my user. Let's go ahead and click on properties for this user. And let's look for the SAM account name. I'll click on edit and copy the value. Um, there's one more thing that we need to make sure is that the DN for the group is absolutely matching what I configured. So let's see. Sales department is a CN. And let's go back and make sure that is what is set. So I go to user settings, click on edit, and it is not what I set here. So let's make it the same as the 80.
and click on save and let's try test one more time okay this time I got back a successful response it says the user actually belongs to the sales department VIP user group so in fact Vanessa Smith was found as part of the user group sales department same response even under connections so my connection is now uh, a proper connection I'm gonna go ahead and save it and now I'm gonna go ahead and do an LDAP sync and make sure my all my users under um, the newly created user group get synced to the cloud I'll click on run once which would um, automatically sync all my um, AD users to the cloud so let's click on run once and if you click on view logs it will give you an instant view into um, all that's happening in the background how many users are getting pulled from the AD and how many users are actually getting created in the cloud or deleted in the cloud if you notice I have add new users uh, selected so my lab sync run will now add new users to the cloud and afterwards once the run once is complete I'm going to verify that VIP manager in fact has all the new users that I added in the AD under the user group sales department so let's now go back to VIP manager and go under manage user groups if you see it shows the sales department having two members under underneath so even if you check with members it should show the groups which have the members listed and it would without members if you click on without members only it would show the groups which do not have any members listed so this now shows a successful sync with my 80